Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Got to talk about a little serious situation right now. That now that we have this, of course, bad situation with the Nintendo console, which is the Wii U that is right now, totally in the dark, totally in the dust, totally in the driest situation that is could uh, that it cannot handle. At this point, as I told you before, I may as well just change my favorite gaming company and start supporting someone else. I don't know at this point, as much as I was a person that liked a lot what Nintendo did, right now I know and I realize that they are totally screwing up and that they do not deserve the support from their fans anymore. It doesn't count that they are making some games, uh, I know. At this point, I am a bit more cooler regarding that Nintendo Direct. I still stand by that is not a Nintendo E3 presentation. That was a Nintendo Direct. And of course, uh, of course, uh, even though I'm cooler about it and I'm not as uh, angry at it as I was that day, I'm still following my points and I won't say anything different. I'm still thinking that they are out of touch and that they don't know what is needed for them to, for they to progress. But I know that we have some games coming out still. I know that we have Devil's Star on the way. I know they have Xenoblade. I know that we have Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Emblem even though it's going to be a game that's going to suck for the hardcore fans of Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei. I know that we have coming out Joshi's World of World, this Skyro Jodia RPG that also was announced to come out later this year. And also of course the the Animal Crossing game, the Mario Tennis game, in between other games. But when you really think about it, only the only two new games that had been announced during this year were this uh, the Animal Crossing and Mario Tennis game. We knew about Shin Megami Tensei from 2013. We knew about Joshi's World from 2012. We knew about Xenoblade Chronicles from 2013. We knew about the Skyrodia game. This guy is soldier in 2014, but this unit, uh, and also, of course, I forgot Mario Maker. We knew about that game in 2014. Take, take those, uh, take these notes in account. Of course, uh, now we also have the announcements that were made during that direct, which are the Mario Tennis game, the Animal Crossing game for the Wii U. In the Animal Crossing game, the Zelda game, and the Mario Paper Mario game for the 3DS. The Zelda game and the Paper Mario game, which were kind of the, you know, the t the two titles that made the direct not as bad as it would have been, which already has a, it already was abysmal, to be honest, but it would have been even worse without those two titles. Those two titles are going to be in the Nintendo 3DS. And we have those two new games announced to come out on the Wii U. We got Mario Tennis and we got Animal Crossing Mario Party. That put your mind to it and remember when did someone request any of those two titles to come out on the Wii U? When did someone tell Nintendo or make a petition or try to sign up to get those two games on the Wii U? I never heard, I never saw a video, I never even saw that on a freaking uh, video for, uh, you know, when someone is trying to make a little prediction to come out on the C3. No one did. And they even had the nerve to come out with those two titles which no one asked for and the two good games the two at least okay games that may seem to be fine are coming out on the Nintendo 3DS 
I don't know what to say at this point. As I mentioned on that video, at this point I know that seems like Nintendo is giving the Wii U the last words. They're not even trying it anymore. They're not even supporting it anymore. It's just dry, waiting for these last words to come out and then die in the coffin. And I know for many people that may sound good because they are waiting for the Nintendo NS. But when it comes to the ethical part of the situation, even when it comes to the business part of the situation, when you look at it and you know that the next only big title that you, will, you have in the works is The Legend of Zelda, and after looking in the library for the Wii U, I mean, we only got basically Smash Brothers, Mario 3D World, Super Mario Bros. U, Bajonetta 2, Xenoblade Chronicles sets, The Legend of Zelda which is going to come out of course with Xenoblade Chronicles sets, and uh, the Donkey Kong Country top Tropical Freeze game. That will be basically it, to be honest. Do those are the games. Those were the important first party slash second party uh, exclusive games that the Wii U had. Uh, of course, uh, Wonderful 101 may be another game that you may count. But those two games do not even surpass 20 games. Take that, take that on account, and I even say that they don't even surpass 15. 15 will be pushing it. Another f important third-party games we only didn't get about, we only didn't get about the 15 game mark too. So when you put that on account, you have a console out on the market for three to four years, and you only get for it around 30 important games, and all the other games are not important, are indie games, basic games that can be done by any developer that wants to get those games out, don't mean to say that those games are bad because they are actually important to get people on your console, but we're not here to have indies, because for indies we have the PC, and of course all the other companies right now are praising those too, so you know, it's not like you have an uh, an ace under your sleeve with those indie games or indie titles. They are part of your library, which is nice, but you know you have them, but you don't even have the best indies. So those do not even count. Just take on account the first party and second party exclusives and the third party games from support, and you don't even get on the Wii U 30 titles. That shows up. Nintendo to be a very stubborn, unethical, and a bad company at games. Which at this point is showing to me that Nintendo did not even get everything that they wanted to be right on this console. Uh, from the beginning they are trying to gather information and uh, get this console to be more for the casual people, trying to sell this overpriced console with no power at all to compete with the next generation consoles which right now of course are the current gen consoles the PS4 and the Xbox One but they were trying to sell us an overpriced piece of equipment with the tablet gimmick which say that they did not even use with its full potential I like the idea the Wii U gamepad is a, a brilliant idea it gave me the idea of uh, glorified Nintendo DS. I saw the games in my mind and I saw the potential on the Wii U but too many titles did not even use it and titles I used it did not use its, its true potential. DS sets you kind of used it very very nicely. I had to admit also the port or the HD remake of the Wind Waker kind of used it on a nicely inconvenient way but there's not too many options out there for that gamepad because of course there are not too many games but at this point it is very important for you to know if you really want 
the Nintendo needs to succeed, you don't need to pre-order that console. You need to show Nintendo that you're not going to fall for their games, that you're going to stand up by your words, and you're going to need only something that shows that is going to be useful and what they promised. If you look to the console and this type pre and they start pre-orders six months after the release of the console, you will not, you're not going to pre-order it because you're going to show Nintendo first that you want a true console out there. And you don't want them to release a console to the market just like they did with the Wii U. With those that decent, decent library of games coming out first day, but it did not live up to the hype that we were going to go through. And starting 2013 with that first Nintendo Direct, uh, actually the Wii U was still breathing and alive and it was showing up to be a pretty interesting console. But that was back two, two years back and two years have passed and no progress has been really done since, since that day. We're just getting the games that were announced back in 2013 in January, basically three to four months after the Wii U had been released. And after all of this time, we did not even get really a good set of games. We got third party games that were all downed, that were uh, like, you know, like when a title starts on a console, being a pretty good game, but then it's watered down to be something worse. One clear example that I did not forget, of course, was that Sniper Elite port. That game had like two or three features on the Wii U when the original game came out with about seven or eight type mode to play the game. So you had too many options to play it on the original game and the port comes out with two to three options. What's that? I know that maybe the thought of the developer or the person that did the port or polished the game on the console, but Nintendo, if they are not monitoring those third-party third developers to truly get them games on the console the right way with proper features as the original games, then I don't know what they're doing. If they're getting third-party games, they're getting those games watered down, not really like the proper game as it should be. And if they get first-party games, they get one game each six months. I mean, what's the point with this? At this point, I may as well just stop here and say, you know, Wii U, it has been a fun ride. You're going to get some cool games, but... You will not really support it. You really had nothing to show for me to be happy about. The Miiverse was a clever thing. But as I'm going to say right now, and as I say before, the Miiverse is something that could be accepted as optional. It's something that is not crucial or important to have on a cancel. It's good to have it. Yes, it is. But if you don't get core features on your console, like cross game chat, friend list, proper messaging, game invites. Come on, what's the point of making such a great feature like me burst for uh, communicating with other people if you don't have a proper way to show them that you want to play games and invite them and see their friend status, on screen notifications. What was the point of creating such crucial social media for games if it was not really important or crucial for the game features? I mean, you can speak with people, of course, you can get some uh, uh, funny drawings, or you can try to see what them uh, opinions about different matters and games. But you cannot play with them, you, know, you cannot communicate really with them through a more easy, easy way like voice chat or try to of course invite them to your games and they to know that you want to play with them because there were not the features to do it. You had everything set for a very interesting console actually, it was going to be like something very special and you just had it die die and die through all of these years to the point 
that two consoles that came one year after you, you had one year head start and you wasted it totally. You wasted it totally to the point that your competitors are surpassing you right now in sales and in stock market importance. You being the number one video game producer, now you became the joke of this video game industry. When you were the one that saved the industry, you get your praise for it, but it's done Nintendo. You're not even more a savior right now. Right now you're at the enemy. Right now you're the one that is making the game industry look bad. You were once a great company and I know that you may have some of that core importance inside of you, but right now you're showing us that you are out of touch and that you don't have any more what it's needed to be a gaming company. You're not using your core game features, you're not getting games, you're not getting games out and not developing them for your console, you're just showing us that you don't want to go that route anymore now that you've found success and easy to do stuff like toys, which really, you should feel ashamed of yourself by going through that route. Even to companies, Sony, that was a struggling, that had the out there televisions, cell phones, laptops, they had to drop all of those to focus on gaming and they're doing so greatly. They have so small packets compared to you and they can get companies to do a special features for their games. They can pay for that, but you cannot pay for getting some games out of your own IPs on your console. You're just, what is, what's this Nintendo, what? I don't, the more you think about it, Sony, a company that was on the bridge of bankrupt, is able to do that, but you that have so much money in the bank, you cannot do it, that's flat out impossible. You're just being arrogant, and at this point, I don't want to support you anymore. I will not support you. I will not pre-order the Nintendo NS. Just as I did with the Wii U. I was hyped for that console. I thought it was going to be so good. I spent full price on it. But right now, I regret it. And you, don't, you know what? It's not because of the pricing of the console. I don't care about that. If you you had the games and you had the important stuff on your console that will help make it a great place to breathe gaming and get right into it, I will not even be complaining. I will spend 300, 350, 400 like the price of the PS4 on your console, but but you did not show us what is important which are the games and the game features. The game features that enhance the basic core gaming experience, which are friends to game with, online games, voice chat, and the games themselves. None of those were present on your console. Only a gimmicky way to interact with people and very basic bare bone features in a very limited amount of library of games in your library sorry that that is just plainly of course uh, plainly uh, disappointing and stupid and I don't know you should regret yourselves for doing that if you don't want to do it of course it's because you are stubborn and you already are with that mindset but you should go out at this point the Nintendo NS is not safe with you it doesn't matter if you announce a new console if you have the same mindset if you think that you're going to become important on the market and on the gaming industry just getting a new console out but if you don't know how to manage the console Get the games and get the features on it. It is going to flop. And even worse than the way you already did.
it's it's just a very very sad moment for me right now because uh, I truly like your games. And, uh, many people will say whatever they want to say about this situation and uh, all of this outrage and uh, this uh, of course uh, like I'm feeling very very bad right now I'm very feeling sad feeling angry feeling uh, impatient because I had enough at this point I will not I will not I will not accept any more of this Nintendo should should change their ways right now and may as well do that by changing the people that is managing the company at this point that is what needs to be done and of course get the games out and do not pre-order the Wii uh, sorry the Nintendo and Nets console when it's announced do not pre-order it the only way to do that will be if Nintendo truly shows a change and redeems themselves on this NETS presentation. If they don't show out the Nintendo and NETS on a conference with a huge place to show off the games with huge features with the important the very very important mindset to go out there and get that third party game developers those are very important for the console do not even show up in the store shelves or the store cashier to say can I pre-order the Nintendo and it's do not do do not do that because Nintendo needs to learn a lesson at this point and what better way to learn that lesson than showing them that they are in danger not only out there when it comes to the repetition but also to their pockets which is the place that is going to hurt them in the end no more amigo crap no more dries no more deserts for the console desert no more we're going to see now a sea of games and a sea of features on the Nintendo and Nets, and the proper way to do that is to punish Nintendo for this stupid way of treating their customers and fans. This is not only because of an emotional way. I'm not talking about emotionalism here. I'm talking about real stuff. Do you want my money, Nintendo? Do you want the people money, Nintendo? Show us that you want it. Thank you very much for watching and please take care and I hope that you get this message and please support it if you really want to see great Nintendo games and a better Nintendo. Thank you very much. Bye bye.